So far, even though the experimental hand tracking feature has been out on the Quest for a couple of months, we have not seen any official applications on the Quest Store utilize this feature. But that hasn't stopped developers from releasing demos and tech content on SideQuest that utilize the really cool feature. Today on SideQuest Saturday, we're checking out Hand Physics Lab, a brand new application that was released on SideQuest this week. It allows you to use your hand tracking and mess around with a whole bunch of different experiments and just weird stuff inside of the Quest. Like I said, this application is only available on SideQuest, so you'll need to be able to sideload, and if you don't know how to do that, check out the link in the description. It's time for a hands-on experience in this game on the Oculus Quest. All right, we're here inside of the Hand Physics Lab, and you can see my hands are here, and it is using the hand tracking. I'm really curious to try this out because I think there's a lot of potential with hand tracking, so it'll be interesting to see exactly how this works. So I guess the first thing you gotta do is push recenter view. So we're good there. And then we do start. Welcome. For best hand tracking conditions, have enough light in the room, keep your hands in sight, and avoid touching your hands. Okay. Initializing bones. Whoa! Initializing skin. Whoa, look at my finger! What's wrong with it? It's broken! <laughs> this is an experimental project currently in early, early alpha stage. Da -da -da -da. Okay, just have fun. Sounds good to me. Now remember, this is an alpha, and hand tracking is actually in, oh, in alpha too. So, uh, whoa, what's going on here? What? <laughs> This is cool. Transparent skin. Whoa. My finger, my ring finger, does not like to stay in its right spot. <laughs> Good grief. Telekinesis. Whoa. I think I'm lost. I want to go back to Holoception. Whoa, look at this. Hi there. That's cool. Oh, that must be the telekinesis thing. Whoa. <laughs> Let's turn off telekinesis right now. Yeah, that's what that is. It's telekinesis. Okay. Well, let's see. Axis. Oh, axis. Okay. Uh, grabbing? Huh. Grab this. What? Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> Push. Oh, spinning around. Look at that. That's, pre <laughs> that's pretty cool, actually. Oh, jeez. Oh, I dropped it. Sorry. Let's see if I can pick this up. Oh, it's a little challenging to pick stuff up. <laughs> Oops. Let's start it over again. Grabbing. Whoa, it's a new one. Oh, don't, don't, don't lock it over. Duh. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, actually. Look, you can flip these switches. That feels cool flipping switches. All right, what else we got? Here we go. I'm gonna try squeaking this. Oh, can't squeak it. All right, I really wanna grab a knife here. Let me get my hand around it. There we go, look at that. Ooh, obviously it's still an alpha, but it's still, it is pretty cool. Oh, jeez. I wanted to be able to slice this. Can I push this into it, you think? Ah. Uh, there we go. Oh! Let's come on, go down in there. Oh, yes! Look! <laughs> That's awesome. Crowbar time. Whoa. That's just cool. I feel like, uh, what is it, uh, can't even think of the name now from Star Wars. I'm running a complete blank. You know the uh, 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 things, whatever they call. I can't remember what they're called. 
All right, let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, I hit building last time. That's why. Ah, okay. Not, not graphic. Drawing. Oops. Drawing. Finger painting? What? That is just cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Can you mix colors, I wonder? Or is it just like... Well, it just kind of paints over top of it. Alright. Oh! Okay. My fingers are broken again. This time it's my middle finger. Alright. Uh, egg painting. I saw this on Reddit a while back. I wanted to try this. Oh, jeez. Man, all my fingers are broken. Come on, here, there we go. Thank you. Still takes some getting used to actually doing this. I wonder what this thing is for. Like, can you... Ah, it's like a field. Cool. Whoa, that is... <laughs> That is cool. Oh, I almost caught it. I want to throw something up and catch it. Ready? Throw it up. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Something's broken over there. Are right, you ready? Up. Ah, oh, darn. All right. What else we got going here? Typing. Oh, that ought to be interesting. Oh. Well, I can type really fast, but it's all jumbled. I can't really get my fingers <laughs> in this spot <laughs> to actually type. <laughs> Fighting. Ooh. Okay. Oops. Come on, grab it. Oh. <laughs> Come on, grab it. <laughs> My hands floating away. You gotta remember, this is an early alpha. This is meant to just be fun. Oops, stabbed right in the stomach. Here, can I touch this? Oh, I can. Oops. Can't move too fast. There we go. Hold on tight to that. Ready? Oops. <laughs> I dropped it that time. Ah! challenging to stab anything oh well that doesn't really stabbing but that's okay oh no where are my hands going can you pick this up i wonder yep oh it's got some weight to it i think i'm noticing with hand tracking is it's cool but it's very difficult to really get the weight right of things because it's even harder when you're... I mean, it's one thing when you get a controller. It feels like, you know, you could be grabbing it and you're just not actually touching it. But, oh, look at that. I just slid it in very slowly. But when you're using hand tracking, it's hard because there's no heft or weight to anything. It seems even less... I don't know what it is. It just feels harder. Oh, fingers are all over the place. Slide it in even farther. Man, that looks like it hurts. Can you do it to his head, I wonder? Come on. Yep. Oh, man, look at that. <laughs> right in his head. All right, let's pull. Oh, no, stay, stay there for a second, will you? Stay. Pull that out. Oh. Dropped it. Ah, just like that. Man. Oh, there we go. Dropped it into his head. <laughs> nope, don't, don't fall out. All right. All right, let's see what else there is to do. Force push. Nope, that's hand slicer. I don't want to slice my hand. Make a fist shape to generate a force field. Move and open your hand to do a force push. If you move too fast, dragging could be problematic. Okay. 
Where did my other hand go? Huh. Apparently my hand disappeared. Maybe I can only use one at a time. Maybe that's what it is. Whoa, that was pretty cool. Whoa! <laughs> one of my hands is gone. Yeah, that's pretty cool right there. I like that. What else we got here? Slicing. Well, I've lost a hand. There we go. Hand slicer. Turn on the laser with the button on the right. Do not touch it. Hmm. You know what they say about touching things. Hmm. Doesn't seem to want to do anything anyways. Hmm. Come on, what's going on here? Hmm, interesting. Let me see. Useless machine. No, it's puppet. Here did that. What's a useless machine? Do not touch. <laughs> it's like that thing. You ever seen the cat that that uh, pops up and pushes the box? <laughs> ah, okay. I wonder if you can open up this door. Ah, nothing to see here. Ah, okay. All right, what else can we do here? Status. Oh, that's the positioning status. Oh, love it. We can do gravity. Turn that off. Oh, there goes that. <laughs> Let's see. Transparent skin. Ooh, I can see my bones. I'm going to do this uh, slicing thing again. I really want to see if this does anything. Doesn't seem to do anything. Hmm. Huh. Well, that's interesting. It's obviously not tracking perfectly, but it definitely can track better. Used to be when you got close, it would disappear, and obviously that's what that red means. But it's doing a pretty good job at uh, knowing where it is, even if my hands are touching. So that's a good sign that as things go on, it'll get better. Let me see. Um. Fighting. I wanted to see if I could stab my own hand. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, look at that. It did. It went right between the bones. Oh, my goodness. Let's do it again. Oh, the gravity must be off. Look, watch. Look, you, you can't twist it. It actually goes right between your hands. Oh, no, nope, I don't want to stab myself. It's easier to see it when you turn on your transparent skin. Oops. Let's turn on the arms, too. That's a good idea. Can I stab my arm? I can't. It doesn't seem to do anything. See, it won't. I don't think it'll... I don't think it'll go through. Yeah, see, it doesn't go through the bone. Hold on. No! Oh, whoa! Okay. Come back. No! No! Alright, let's try that again. Fighting. There we go. See, watch. Right through the center of the... Oh, look at that. Ah. Oh, no. I'm just... Ah. Uh. <laughs> I just... Oh, I've got a hand in my face. Boing. Gravity on. There we go. That'll make things easier. And we'll do fighting again. I'm going to... Oh, my fingers are... There we go. Oh, it's hitting the bone. Ah, it's hard to do that from that side. I can do it better with my left hand. I mean, I'm cutting with my right hand. Oh, there we go. I know this is silly, but there's just something creepy about putting a knife through your hand. Oh, that just seems so weird. <laughs> oh, nope, nope, nope. All right. Nope, 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 nope. Bobbling a knife! Oh, jeez. <laughs> All 
Alright. There we go. Oh. Weird. So strange. Alright, let's see what we can build here. Grab this carefully. Oh, not so carefully. Oh, no, stop it! Oops, let's get a bigger block. Let's do a green one, though. A blue one. Oh, two of them. Alright, grab this. It's weird, it's just so strange to be able to grab something in VR with your actual hands. Hi there. Looks like a snake trying to get to me. I'm trying to keep my hands visible at all times. I keep forgetting. What is grabbing thing again? I think I thought that was pretty cool. Let's see if I can grab this giant stone here. Whoa! Look at that. That's pretty cool, actually. There's the microphone. <laughs> Rubber ducky. Let's see if I can get my hands around this. I'm getting a little more used to grabbing stuff now. That's going a little bit better. Grab onto this hammer. Oops. Still some, uh, still very early. Obviously, this is an alpha, and this uh, hand, hand dragging itself is still early. You know, it's still not, it's still an experimental feature. That feels pretty cool, though. I'd love to be able to have something you could actually hammer a nail in, or. Uh, oh grab that uh, crowbar and actually try to cr use the crowbar on something. Wish you could, uh, I wish it worked well enough so I could flip this over my hand. You know, I mean, that's obviously hard, but you could flip it and it go over your hand. Or you could do it with this, maybe. It may be easier. Stop doing that. I gotta keep... Oh, no, no, no. Alright. I'll, I'll see how we, well you can throw stuff in this. Oops. Oh, fingers look like they're broken. You definitely can throw stuff. Well, this is probably the best... Not just probably. This is the best example of hand tracking that I've seen so far. Definitely the most... Shows the most potential. I've seen this on Reddit in the past. Videos of this. And I really wanted to try it out. I'm so glad that the developer decided to put it out. And allow people to use it. Oh, my arm's stuck. What's going on with my arm? Stop that. <laughs> Let's turn my arm off. There we go. That just makes things better. Clean off the table here. <laughs> so there you have it. There was some hands-on experience using the hand tracking feature on the Oculus Quest in Hand Physics Lab. If you want to check it out, you can go to the link in the description to take a look at it, or you can head to the link in the description if you want to learn how you can sideload this experience. If you want to get the most out of your Quest, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications. Plus, if you want to check out more of my videos this weekend, you can find them right there. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend. Stay safe and happy questing.